The Big Ten took three of five from the Pac-12 during the regular season. The two conferences go at it three more times during postseason play with Nebraska, UCLA, also Iowa, Stanford, and this one, Wisconsin and USC, game I'm looking forward to in the Holiday Bowl. Wisconsin comes in at 9-3, and three, USC at 8-5 and five after having lost the Pac-12 championship game to Stanford, second loss to the Cardinal this season. Cody Kessler running the USC offense as a senior. This is his final game, 29 TDs, six interceptions. Not quite the glossy numbers that he had in 2014. Takes a lot of criticism from the media and from USC fans for taking too many sacks, dumping the football down, and checking off too many times to a back in the flat. But Cody Kessler played much better against the better teams on the schedule than he did in 2014. It's going to be difficult for Wisconsin in the past defensive game to handle Juju Smith-Schuster, one of the dynamic players in college football. 85 catches, 1,300 yards, third in the nation in pass receiving yardage, 10 touchdowns. He is targeted by far more than anybody else on the Trojan roster. You've got Stephen Mitchell Jr. with 35 receptions and four touchdowns. And also much expected earlier in his career from Darius Rogers, 26 catches and two touchdowns. USC may want to look to those guys a little bit more and take some pressure off of Juju Smith-Schuster. Wisconsin on the other side with Darius Hillary and Sojourn Shelton at cornerback are going to be targeting Smith-Schuster. But we also have the X Factor in Adoree Jackson one of the elite cornerbacks in college football playing and getting more touches on the offensive side. 24 receptions, returned two punts for touchdowns in the final two USC regular season games. Adoree Jackson is a threat as well. USC would seem to have the advantage in the passing game offensively with the great playmakers and the dynamic speed and athleticism in uh, Smith-Schuster and also Adoree Jackson. In the running game, Justin Davis, a capable back, had 785 yards rushing and six touchdowns. But it was Ronald Jones who really can kick it into gear, uh, play at another level. He's a dynamic back potentially. He's just a freshman. And after receiving just 44 carries the first six games of the year, in the final seven games of the year, Ronald Jones carried the ball 101 times. He is only 60 yards short of 1,000, 6.5 per carry and eight touchdowns. USC led up front by two all Pac-12 performers in Chad Wheeler and also Zach Banner, uh, these two both on the first team in the Pac-12. All right, Wisconsin defensively, it doesn't get much better than this. I know that they didn't play Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, and Penn State in the Big Ten, but they could only play the schedule. And they did face Alabama in the opener, and they wore down in the fourth quarter but before that, played well through about two and a half quarters against the Tide. Wisconsin, sixth against the pass, number four against the rush at just 98 yards per game. Total defense for Wisconsin, third in the nation, giving up just 267 yards per game. And most importantly is the scoreboard. And Wisconsin gives up less points than anyone, 13 per game. It starts with Joe Schobert, first team All-America 19 and a half tackles for loss, nine and a half sacks. He's the heart, the soul, the guts, the determination, and the brains of this defense. He's flanked on the outside by Vince Beagle, who himself had 14 tackles for loss and eight sacks. And also on the inside, you've got T.J. Edwards, just a redshirt freshman. Remember the name, T.J. Edwards, 80 tackles to lead the Badgers, five and a half tackles for loss. Wisconsin in the secondary. We mentioned the tough, difficult assignments for Sojourn Shelton and also uh, Darius Hillary. They're strong at safety. And Tanner McAvoy, who the former quarterback, had six interceptions this year. He's a senior and also another senior in first-team All-Big Tenor, Michael Caputo, who had 58 stops and two interceptions. All right, it all comes down to Joel Stabi. He's finishing up his career at Wisconsin He's taken much uh, criticism, just like Cody Kessler. He's 31-11 in 11 as a starting quarterback, but his touchdown-to-interception ratio, nothing close to his record that has uh, been built up by the running game and the defense. Stabby, 47 touchdowns, 37 career interceptions this year, just 10-11 and 11 as uh, he had to shoulder the load in the passing game, but still only threw 10 touchdowns. 
the issue with Wisconsin on offense, this is not the typically vaunted Wisconsin running attack with the likes of Melvin Gordon and an NFL a uh, litany of offensive line players. This uh, is four replacements up front. They started four freshmen at one point along the Wisconsin offensive line. They lost Corey Clement, their almost 1,000-yard rusher, as a backup in 2014 in week one due to a sports hernia, hernia injury against uh, Alabama. Clement uh, uh, on the sideline. They had to go to Dare Ogunbale who uh, ran for, let's see, after just three attempts against Bama, 769 yards, seven touchdowns. But here's the key stat, 4.2 per carry. Their second leading rusher, the freshman Taiwan Deal, also 4.2 per carry. Nothing close to the stats of the Melvin Gordons and James Whites and Monte Balls of the past. Wisconsin was, get this, 10th in the Big Ten in rushing, 76th in the nation in rushing the football. That's the bread and butter of Wisconsin football, but they didn't do it this year. Uh, Late in the season, though, when Clement came back, had a big game against Rutgers, and he will play in the bowl game despite, again, the injury. And then his issues were uh, complicated by an off-campus issue on November 8th, and he was suspended for the Minnesota game. But Corey Clement in place, and he will be much needed uh, in this game against USC. On the outside, it comes down to Alex Erickson, first team all Big Tenor, but he's a possession receiver, caught 72 for three touchdowns. Robert Wheelwright missed the last four games for Wisconsin due to a leg injury. He will play in the bowl game. He's not a great player, but he provides downfield threat uh, potentially for the Badgers. 28 catches and 13.2 per reception. Okay, for USC on defense, it was ugly many times against the likes of Notre Dame in the fourth quarter. Both Stanford games, especially the second championship game in the Pac-12 where they scored 41 points, and they were ripped up by Oregon in a big way. But if you look all over the field, there's talent everywhere. Uh, You've got guys like, unfortunately, Cameron Smith missed the end of the season. He was the leading tackler, picked off three passes against Utah. He's out for this game. He's been out for quite some time. Uh, You've got the likes of Porter Gustin, who had seven tackles for loss up front. Uh, Anthony Serraro had 54 stops and five tackles for loss. Uh, Iman Marshall, a cornerback, a defensive back, 60 total tackles. And just uh, three interceptions he had. Antoine Woods, that's the, the guy I'm looking for here. Antoine Woods, probably the best front seven player for the USC Trojans, the senior all-Pac-12 performer in this one. The secondary is loaded. We mentioned Marshall. Also, Adoree Jackson, we talked about him on the offensive side of the ball. He's an elite cornerback. And Sua Cravens playing his final game at USC. He has opted to go to the NFL draft and forego his senior season 14 and a half tackles for loss clay helton is the usc coach no longer interim coach he's had it rough it's stanford it's wisconsin it's alabama to start off 2016 but he is the head man at usc and the players love him and hopefully the trojans after the end of the pete carroll era into lane kiffin and now steve sarkeesian they have somebody they can rely on to stabilize this football program All right, USC-Wisconsin, and if it comes down to a field goal, USC definitely has the edge with Alex Wood, 13 of 17. On the other side, you got the Brazilian, Rafael Gagliannone, 15 of 24. Uh, His most dubious uh, accomplishment this year was to miss what would have been a game winner against Nebraska, but he got the ball back one minute later and hit the game winner. Wisconsin-USC, too many playmakers for the Trojans. I like Wisconsin to hang in, keep it close, beat the spread. USC wins at 27-24 over the Badgers. Need to hear from you now, right here on Mark Rogers TV.